In this example, I need to find the exact value of the remaining trigonometric functions of angle theta if the tangent of theta equals 12 fifths and angle theta terminates in quadrant 3. Well, the easiest trig function to find for angle theta is the reciprocal of the tangent function, and that is the cotangent function. So the cotangent of theta is just 1 divided by the tangent of theta, which is 1 divided by the tangent of theta is 12 fifths, and how do you take the reciprocal of a fraction? You just flip it upside down. So the reciprocal of 12 fifths is 5 twelfths. And that is the value for the cotangent of theta. Now to find the other trig functions, it helps if we draw our angle in standard position. Remember the tangent of theta equals 12 fifths. And defined in terms of x, y, and r, the tangent of theta equals y over x. Now be careful, it's tempting to let y equal 12 and x equals 5. But let's draw the angle in standard position first. Our angle terminates in quadrant 3. So the terminal side is going to be down here somewhere in quadrant 3. My angle theta could be this angle here. It could also be one full rotation and then that part. It could be a negative angle. I just know my terminal side lies in quadrant 3. And drawing the little right triangle going up to the x-axis, here's x, here's y, and here's r. And from the picture, you can see since x goes to the left of the origin, we know x must equal a negative number. And since y goes below the x-axis, you also know y has to be a negative number too. So I'm going to let y equal negative 12, x to equal negative 5, and when you divide negative 12 by negative 5, you get the tangent function of 12 fifths. Now we need to find r. Remember using the Pythagorean theorem, x squared plus y squared equals r squared. x is negative 5, so it's negative 5 squared, plus y squared is negative 12 all squared equals r squared. Negative 5 all squared is negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25, plus negative 12 all squared is positive 144, equals r squared. 25 and 144 is 169. Remember, r is always positive, so r equals the positive square root of 169, which is positive 13. Now I know x, I know y, and I know the value of r for this angle, I can find any trig function. So let's work with the next trig function I'm going to find is the sine of theta. Defined in terms of x, y, and r, it's y over r y is negative 12, r is 13. So the sine of theta equals negative 12 thirteenths. Now to find its reciprocal, that's the cosecant of theta. That is just 1 divided by the sine of theta. So I just need to take the reciprocal of this fraction. How do you do it? By flipping it upside down. So I'm going to get 13 over negative 12. Remember, we never leave a negative in the denominator, so it's negative 13 twelfths. And lastly, we need to find the cosine function and its reciprocal. 
The cosine of theta defined in terms of x, y, and r is x over r. x was negative 5, r was 13. So the cosine of theta is negative 5 thirteenths. And its reciprocal, which is the secant function, the secant of theta is 1 divided by the cosine of theta. So I just need to take the reciprocal of this fraction, which is 13 divided by negative 5. And as we never leave a negative in the denominator, we can write this as negative 13 fifths. So that is the value of the secant of theta.